Hey, YouTubers and friends, how you doing out there? Thanks for joining us. Patrick PD, David from Tasmania, Rasta Man Ralph's in the house. And who else? I don't know, there's a few others out there. As you know, this is the fourth report we're having from our friend out on the road um all shrink me down a bit you know the routine and i'll bring in our guest and one of my partners in crime uh, and um just a little couple little things here and Oh my God. Bear with me, please. Uh, it sounds a little noisy. <laughs> oh, that was you, Dano? No, I said I turned my video off. My video is off so you don't have to see me. <laughs> All right. Well, there's our good friend Adam Ant the AU Ant Man. Uh, we're gonna you're gonna have to come up with a different name than Franklin now. Um, I'm dropping the Franklin as soon as it'll let me. You gotta <laughs> you gotta wait ninety days or something like that. And I I added it was originally Franklin eighteen forty nine er and then I wanted the Ant Man, so I put the Ant Man on there and forgot to erase the Franklin eighteen forty nine er before I hit the button. Oh, okay. Yeah. I think I got like 60 freaking days I gotta wait now. All right. Um, okay, we're, I'm showing green on my OBS, showing kind of an orange in Yahoo. So if there's a buff, uh, if it's buffering or lagging longer than normal, please bear with us. It, it must be on YouTube's end. Or freaking YouTube for you, because I'm getting really good pings. So it, it's the Super Bowl. We'll blame it on the Super Bowl. Uh, Super Bowl or the Russians? No offense to any of my Russian viewers. I know I have some. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Kevin's here. They what? Uh, nothing else. <laughs> I, uh, uh, so I got my first gold uh, on Lynx Creek, but it was a nightmare of a time. The dog is going to be a major issue and, unless he smartens up because uh, he, I don't know if it's just because he's so hyper that he's been stuck in the car, but he wouldn't listen to me. I couldn't take him off the leash because there was other dogs and people around because it's like a public day pan area. And uh, I mean, it looked like 9,000 people dig there every day. So I ended up taking the uh, the gold bug up a dry wash and got targets, scooped them all into my pan, and then brought my pan down and panned it out. And uh, what it was, I was ended up I ended up getting a small gold. There was nothing really big, but I was I was hitting iron targets. But it was where the where the heavies were dropping out. So, right. I mean, it wasn't that bad. I tried doing some panning. I messed around with the banjo pan, or I tried to anyway. But there wasn't enough water, and uh, I'm allergic to something here. My eyes are wicked swollen, and my nose is clogged up. And when I was coming through um, over the mountains and down the mountains, it was like I forget how. I think it was nine thousand foot difference from top to bottom and as I was going down the pressure was like I, I couldn't see I was my ears were popping and then going back up it did the same thing so I've been fighting that all morning and then when I got down to Lynx Creek it must be something in that all the dry, the, the dry grass or something because when I was down at the bottom where Lynx Creek was it was horrible I couldn't 
I'd never had allergies before. My wife has them, and like I know people that do, and it's they always have a horrible time. And I now I understand what they were going through because this is freaking miserable. But I'm gonna go try to get some uh, uh, allergy medicine or something if they can. But I was going to, I was trying to find Rose Creek because supposedly Rose Creek has some good gold, and you can run your sluice box there, and Mike Pung told me where it was, and he said it was near a Sam's Club in Prescott Valley, but there is no Sam's Club. There's a Costco and uh, Walmart and some other stuff, but I couldn't find the Sam's, and then he told me the two other stores that it was a prop from, I think it was Family Dollar or something like that, and I tried going down that road, and I couldn't find it. I just wanted to do something that involved digging today, and... I, w- I wasn't expecting to get anything, so I'm glad that I got something. And I did get a, a pretty good amount for the amount of time I was down there, I guess, for only being able to pan. Um, there was some nice bedrock coming down the dry wash, and I flipped off a couple of big rocks, and I scratched out a bunch of the cracks in there, too. Well, Gary from Gold Digger Gary Prospecting Adventures says, get some Benadryl, you know, to help with your allergies. Yeah, I bought, uh, bought this before I left, and I've been drinking it all day, and it's not doing crap, but it's cold <laughs> and cool. So. It says nasal congestion, though, and it's not helping me one bit. Oh, well, hopefully you'll find something that will help you. I'll tell you what, though. I'm very, very, very glad that I stopped at the Petrified National Forest. Um, it, I was really second-guessing staying because when I got there, I ended up stopping after I got in Arizona and I, cause I was having such a hard time seeing and breathing and sneezing like crazy. So I was like, all right, I'll just pull over and take a nap. But I pulled over and I got up at six and then kept driving. And then I got to the forest and it was closed. So I had to sit there and wait. And then it was $20 to get in and I'm like down on funds and I'm like, all right, well, it's going to dictate on what I do now because I needed to get to an area. I didn't know if there was going to be a bank here. And my wife had put that money from the PayPal stuff on the bank card. Right. So I knew, if I, I knew if I got to a gas station, you know, or an ATM or something that I would be able to get money, but I didn't know what the heck was here. And, uh, so now I feel a little bit better because I, that was like my, my food money for the night. Now, um, Gary said again, um, if you're um, at Lynx Creek, uh, you were close, ask Ted Henderson for directions or Justin. Not sure who, what Justin he's Justin Yale? Um, that could very well be. He's down in Wickensburg, I think. That's where I was... See, like, I'm, I don't know if I want to mess around. I want to be able to move a good amount of material, and I don't. there's not enough water. I drove by. Uh, the Verde River is where Dano's buddy was saying that there was some gold at, but um, the way that it looked, I wouldn't be able to take the dog there. It was, like, straight down cliffs, and right. um, you can't see the water from the road, so it's obviously pretty far down. I mean, I can get down there, but I can't take the dog with me. The dog's going to be a major issue on this trip, I can already tell. And then, like, as it gets hotter, uh, it's going to suck to be in here with them. <laughs> but, but hopefully, um, I don't know what to do. I was going to stick around here tonight and try to find somewhere to sleep, but one of the problems is there's no... 24 hour places here so uh, there's a good chance I'll get the knock on the side of the van to say get the hell out of here how far, and, uh, how far are you from Dave you could stay at his house it's just I gotta look at the map because I I need to go south so I can make this Arizona thing worthwhile I can get on I claim and dry washing if I don't have enough if I'm south of him now I don't want to go back north to go back down south you know what I mean? I don't have right, to. right. I understand that. So, and then I got to decide what to do 
I'm on like uh, I think it's 89A or something right now, or oh no, I think I came up 89A, but I came down. I missed 89A coming down 17, so I had to keep going down 17 and then back up through the mountains and come back up and around into Prescott Valley, and I'm in Prescott now, and so I was gonna stay here and go to the Amer claims on the uh, Hacienda River. But there's snow in the in Prescott in the in the forest. Uh, and, and Gary brings up something again, which is very true. You can boondock um, out on BLM land for free. So, but I'm gonna get stuck. That's the problem. Like if I'm in if I'm in this this forest here where there's snow. The ground gets so soft. Well, yeah, I understand that, but if you head south, it's only five there now, or four there now, four twenty. I'd get there by eight. I'd get there by eight or eight or nine. I hope. <laughs> but I mean, even if I can get back on the highway, I'd know I'd have somewhere to stay. But even on seventeen, there's not really very many rest stops or anything. Right. So, I don't know. I I just literally drove up the hill because I remembered that you were calling at four. So um, about two hours I, I got, to Phoenix, and you'll be in nice weather. <laughs> that's what I'm saying. I, that's what I'm saying. I can just drive down to Phoenix, and then all those guys. I before I got on here, when you were calling me, yeah. I was looking at my phone when I came out of Links creek area my phone blew up with all the messages from the people that i was trying to get a hold of before i came here because i couldn't decide on what i wanted to do right. once i got here and i wanted to do something so i said all right i couldn't find rose creek and i found lynx creek canyon area but i mean i don't want to hang around lynx creek that's for sure i mean i didn't have that much fun down there so um like i said i might want to uh I don't think I'm going to hang out unless I really like down towards uh, Phoenix area. I might go to California sooner and uh, stay. I want to go to the Gold Show at the end of the month, so I might go and hang out in the San Gabriel area, you know, do that. San Gabriel. Hmm. <laughs> well, I'm not going there, but... And San Gabriel's a long ways from the mother load. Well, I'm going Paloma. I'm going to be down. I'm going to be down on the coast anyway to go to the gold show in Paloma. So, I'm gonna. I wasn't planning on doing that. I was planning on going up through. Pomona. Uh, no, Paloma. I think he said. Paloma, is that uh, a GPAA yeah, but, show or the AMRA show? The GPAA show. That's I looked easy. it up on the map. It was it was uh, south of Los Angeles, I think. I don't know. I could be wrong. But either way, I don't think I'm gonna hang around uh, unless because I don't have any proper equipment. I don't have a dry washer, so it's not like I can go out and move some material unless I get some people that want to go out and dig. Which I don't know what my messages look like, but I need to figure that all out because I don't have. I don't have the funds that I had before to cruise around, so I need to pick a spot now and make it worth my while and then plan my trip. And I gotta be wherever that gold show is by the end of the month, because if Pioneer Polly comes down, I need to be able to link up with him. Which would make me feel better, because 90% of the problem with what's going on here is I don't want to go out to one of these places by myself if I've never been there. He just uh, showed up in the room. Pioneer what? Polly did. Pioneer Polly just showed up in the chat room. Right. And yep. Nancy Shadowes says Rose Creek is behind Costco or Sam's Club. It is. I didn't see the Sam's Club. I saw the Costco, but. Well, it's she a, says or Sam's Club, so it must be a Costco. Costco's a membership store anyway, so. Yeah, it's a, a lot yeah. like Sam's Club. Well, I'm really close to there. It might be worth popping over there, but I don't have much time. And uh, like I said, I don't know where I would park here tonight. Um, that's another thing. If I went to Sedona, I wouldn't have 
internet to do what I need to do. I need to really sit down and look at a map tonight because I haven't been doing that. I've been trying to get my YouTube stuff done, talking to you guys, and then I talk to my wife and kids and I pass out. So <laughs> I haven't done, and now that my trip changed, I had a whole thing I could just press and, and go, and if I got lost, I could look at the Atlas now, but now I don't have those options readily available, so I need to uh, figure out what the heck I'm going to do, really. I'm not all that far from Phoenix, so uh, there's a lot more people down there that are uh, that I know and that wanted to go digging anyway. It's right. going to be hard. Now tomorrow's Monday. A lot of people are going to work, so um, there's a lot, I get a lot to think about, pretty much. <laughs> But at least I got a bit of gold. I'm glad I got a little bit of gold. I got probably, I don't know, 50, 60 pieces. They weren't very big. They were uh, poos. Right. Well, there's it all adds up, brother. And there's well, I more, there's I more catch, poos. I don't there. catch them at least. I don't right. catch them at least. They're not going to grow if you put them back. So. <laughs> no, you're right there, buddy. We got poos. Pokers, pickers, and plunkers. That's what I call it. <laughs> you can poke them, poker, you can pick it, you can pick it. It makes right. a plunk. Poker. We all like those plunkers. Yeah, that's what I want to go find is some plunkers. The metal detector was going off like crazy. I couldn't get the thing ground balanced right. The ground was really hot down there, but um, if I didn't have the metal detector, I don't think I would have found anything down there in the amount of time I was there. But I feel a little bit better that I at least got something in there. Right. Uh, All in good time, buddy. All in good time. You know, this is a permanent situation for you being out west. So, you, in, until you go back east to pick up the family and drive that drive again. Yeah. But, See, I think know. California is a better fit for me because I... I'm a water digger. The desert mining thing is a whole nother game. Like, I'm sure I could do it, but I would need my own equipment, and I would need to be able to go out and, and spend some time. And um, I just think that if I'm not going to live here, maybe I shouldn't spend three weeks here unless I find someone that uh, is willing to go out with me. Well, they do have a wet season, and I'm from what i heard here in a couple of weeks but that's pushing it for you is this fire right now it's dry as hell here it's 70 now when i was coming down the road there was fire blowing across the street at one spot <laughs> welcome to the west i was like what the hell did i see signs smoke zero yeah. visibility smoke and then the next one said fire crossing road i'm like what <laughs> Well, the heck am I at, at least California isn't on fire now, I don't believe. <laughs> yeah. I think it was those um, tumbleweed things that were burning. There was a bunch of burnt stuff down at Lynx Creek, too. The whole side of the bank was burnt. And I bet you if you, I bet you, if you went around and, like, on Lynx Creek up on the hill where the, the channel used to run. I bet you there would be some good stuff up there, but there were signs everywhere like telling you that you couldn't do this, couldn't do that. And there was oh, yeah. people, people all over the place, so I wasn't going to chance anything. Well, it's one of those places that, you know, it's open to the public, and you're only allowed to use a limited... You I can use a scalpel. Huh? You can use a shovel and a you can use a shovel and a metal and detector. Sluice and a pan. No, you can't but... sluice. Can't oh, sluice. you can't sluice on links. I nope. thought I saw a video of someone sluicing on links creek. Guy from the good guy from Virginia was down there doing it. Uh, I forget his name. He just did a video not long ago. He was down there doing it, but you, you're not supposed to. It says right on the sign. The only thing you can do. The shovel and the metal detector was below the high water line, and then they have it taped off where they say the high water line is, and it's not. It's like freaking 
probably 20 more feet up from where the high water line actually is. So yeah. they they're really, yeah. they're really, well, they go by there, ordinary high water line, not flood high water line. Yeah. So there was water. There must have been water running down there not long ago though, because all the grass was all bent over. It looked really good, but there just wasn't anything there. You know, worth staying and messing around if you can only pan. I mean, I'd like to be close to bedrock if you only get a pan. Right. At the banjo pan, the banjo pan was cool. I got it working a little bit, but I didn't have enough water. The little pocket was gone after a minute. And uh, it did work really well, though. I liked it. And like, like I was telling you yet, yeah, the other day, uh, with a small uh, pump, 12 volt yeah. pump, it makes a really handy cleanup sluice. You know, well, just have a nice sized tub. I use it every winter for a cleanup sluice. Yeah, <laughs> but, yeah you know. I know. And I, like I said, the dog was like driving me nuts. I kept going up, I'd forget something, and I'd have to go walk back up, and he'd freak out. And I kept going up to grab my tripod, and every time I went to the van, I got something else but the tripod. So then I was like, all right. And then I looked at my phone, and it was almost 4 o'clock, and I was like, all right, well, that was really quick. That was, you know, two and a half hours. Freaking. At least I had a little bit of fun, though, and I felt like I did something. But I need to make a decision. I don't know what everybody else thinks I should do, but I think I should be mine. For... You need Cause if to I do what's down... best for Adam, not what everyone else thinks. If I go down towards Phoenix, I could just go stay out on, um, you know, like the Morristown one or the Richtown one. Rich Hill one. I could go out there. I wouldn't have service for a day or two, but at least I could spend some time on ground that I could possibly get something good. You know. But um, if I could get a hold of somebody with a dry wash in the house to go out, and there's a guy, Rick Messina, uh, he has something to do with the GPAA from Morristown, I think, but I just got a message from him. He was waiting for me to get down here, so if he's, I don't think he's, I think he's retired, so if he wants to go out and split the gold, I'll go fill his hot dry washer all day. Well, if you're by Rose Creek, Gary says sleep at Walmart, which they'll allow, and try Rose in the morning. And then go. That might be, be a good idea. But I need to find a center. I'm not going to be doing anything because I, I literally can't, can't focus on anything. My eyes are like. I feel like I got punched. Yeah, yeah they, the they, look, they look all puffy. Oh my god, it's horrible. I get pulled over, they're going to think I'm drunk or something. Um, Nancy asked, are you a GPA member? And I believe the answer to that is no, Nancy. But you are a AMRA member, right? Yeah. Yeah, I mean, eventually, sometime, I will be GPAA, but it goes back to the same thing. I didn't join because there was no reason for me to. There was nothing for me to do GPAA-wise in New England. There's a club, but they meet, like, one Sunday a month, and they don't have anywhere to go. So well, there's a lot of other resources. <laughs> I can resources talk about gold with you guys online. I don't have to go there to talk to them about gold. You know? Right, right, right. Well, you're no longer in New England, so... No. No. Um, and for for the price of a membership, even a two year membership, you know, if you camped in a state campground or a federal campground, uh, or even a KOA, you would pay for that membership in a matter of just a couple few nights. So, yeah. Then, I don't but, know. I, uh, trust me, if I had the money, I would do it right now, just well, so I had more places to go. But it's just not. You know, it's not the cards, so. Right. You no, know, a happens. lot of things are going to happen that didn't, so. Right, right. Got to expect gotta, the unexpected. Hope for the yeah. best, prepare for the well, worst. Well, that's what I mean. If I, if I go down south, I have guys that have private claims that invited me to as well, so there's better ground for me to go to down there. Up here, I'm kind of just 
I mean, it's cool to see it and do it, but uh, if I don't have a lot of funds and time, really, to, you know, I mean, I probably should do the best things that I can while I'm here, because I don't think, unless something great happens, I might be v lining for California sooner than I thought. I don't know if it's just because I'm down because of the area, the, the allergies or whatever, but if this is going to be like this year, i got to get to where there's some woods and not dry grass. I think that's what it is. I think it's the dust because right before we left, right before I left, when we were moving out, you know, when you move all the stuff that hasn't moved in forever, you get dust all over it. I was sneezing like crazy for like two weeks straight. And then that's what I went away as I was driving across the country. It went away. And then as soon as I got here, it happened again. Right. So, I think it's the dust, which sucks, because <laughs> there's nothing but dust here. <laughs> it is the desert after all. Uh, well, yeah, you're in the mountains kind of right now, mm. though. Change of climate. There's some really cool stuff here, though, like the just the rocks, you know what I mean? When you're walking around, just the rocks and stuff here. It's oh. cool to see different geology, you know, firsthand and have it in your hand. I wish I could have taken something out of Petrified State for, uh, National Forest, but they search your car when you leave, so I'm glad I didn't. <laughs> <laughs> Darn Nazis. <laughs> yeah, I, I'm sure you could find some petrified stuff outside of the uh, Petrified Forest National Monument. Or oh, yeah, it was all over the place, really. I mean, when you get down to the end of the road, uh, <laughs> that... When you come out of the other side of it, you're on, you come in on 40, and then when you go all the way through, you come out on, you know, I want to say it was 804 or something like that. When you come up to the top of there, it was Holbrook, I think the town was, and right at the intersection, there was like a massive field of it. You could tell the guy just went out on his property and just grabbed every piece that he could find, and then he sells it now. Right. Huh. It's definitely out there kicking around, but uh, Gary asked, uh, "You go to Sedona?" Uh, I think I went through Sedona, but I didn't go through like where all the the red uh, rock is. I didn't go through that area because I got off of seventeen. I don't know what I did. I have to tell you that <laughs> it said I was in Sedona. But then when I got to the bottom of the valley, it said I was in Prescott Valley. And then as I was coming back up, it said I was in Sedona again. And then I was in Prescott. I'm like, what the? And then <laughs> when Dano's buddy called me, he's like, yeah, you're you're um, like a half hour south of me. So if that was the case, I should have driven through it on 17. You know, wouldn't I? Isn't the... I think 17 goes through it. That's what I'm saying. I should have passed through that area, and I didn't pass through it. So I don't know what I did. I know I missed 89. I was supposed to get on 89A and to come here, and I missed it. So I kept going, and I thought I was going through Sedona, but I didn't see any of those things like you see it, you know, pick the Sedona. I didn't see that at all. All I saw was mountains. Now, our Tasmanian friend David asked this question a couple of times now, so I better ask it for you, for him. Um, what altitude is it where you're at right now? Do you know? Um, I think I was at, I was at 9,000 feet coming down. Then I went back up to 75, I think. And then it flattened off, so I'm somewhere around 75, I think. I don't know. It's high up, though, because I can tell the difference breathing. Um, as I got further here, I was having... I got out and walked around and took video and stuff um, on the ride here. And as soon as I went down and tried to go back up, I was, like, huffing and puffing like crazy. And right, <laughs> right, right away, huffing and puffing, I was like, oh, my God, wow, this is way different yeah it'll do oh, it to yeah. you i couldn't believe how much of a difference it was and when i was stuck in new mexico talking to the guy at the garage i said to him i'm concerned about 
the air quality being up higher in the altitude. He goes, well, you're higher now than you would be in Arizona or California. So if you can breathe here, you'll be fine. It depends where you're at in California. California has the largest mountain in the lower 48. Shasta? Oh, no. Uh, Mount Whitney. Whitney? Uh, a, lot, a lot of the Sierra and even the San Bernardino Mountains are over 10,000 feet. Yeah. So. Um, yeah. Uh, altitude something you'll have to get used to in a lot of places but i i know franklin south of boston and you're pretty much not very much above sea level there yeah but i wouldn't really i would always be hanging around out in the mountains i mean up in vermont you're up right. but even the highest even the highest mountain in vermont is only i think 3500 or something like that yeah, you so, don't have a high mountain until you're on Mount Washington. Yeah. Up there, so. Yeah. Yeah, I mean, I can tell the difference driving around. Just seeing them driving down the road, I can tell they're ten times bigger than the mountains that I used to muck around on. So. <laughs> and Gary says, smoke a left-handed cigarette, you get really high. <laughs> no, I know. I took care of some stuff down Lynx Creek. <laughs> uh, uh, Rasta thinks if, if this is have, a green if, channel. This is a yeah. gold one, mate. <laughs> a gold. Um, if I didn't have the allergy thing, I think I'd be better off with the altitude thing, but it's really messing with me because I can't breathe anyway. Well, I have to agree with our friend from British Columbia, uh, T name. Uh, the acclimation, your acclimation to the altitudes and stuff, don't push it too quick. You know, you want to get acclimated. Um, yeah. So. Yeah, John yeah. Matthew Villa says, hey, Ant Man. Ah, yeah. <laughs> Johnny, I guess, maybe be coming out to Oregon. And uh, cool. if I can get up meet up with them, that would be awesome. And Nancy <laughs> says, welcome to Arizona. Arizona is a beautiful state. I've lived there. I live on the west side, right on the Colorado River, uh, beneath the mining town of Oatman, right on the Colorado River. Yeah. Um, that's a nice area. Originally, that's where I was going to come into California. I was going to go through Kingman and Oakman. But well, if I end up. Highway 40 would have took you right through there. So. Yeah. But that's another dangerous area where you get yeah. broke down out there, man. You're bumming. When you got through Death Valley area. Uh, Death Valley's on the other side of the Colorado in California. So. But I got to go through it. If I'm going to California, I would have to go through Death Valley. So. Uh, 40 would take you through the Mojave, but not quite Mojave, Death yeah, Valley. Uh, Death Valley's north, yeah. But uh, it's still... You're, you're, you're it's still in north. the Death Valley area. It's between 40 and 10, somewhere in there. And yeah, it's a little bit up north, north closer to Nevada. The bottom of Nevada, I think. Mm. The actual Death Valley. Uh, all of it could be Death Valley if you get caught in a wrong situation. So, That's what I'm saying. It might be safer for me to go through. Uh, if the gold shows where I think it is, I'd be going in down through Quartzite in California that way. The other side of the mountain chain. Hey, Dano, you clicking away there? I was typing. Did you hear it? Yeah, I heard it. <laughs> they're, I, talking, they're talking about altitude. I typed in, I've been to Pikes Peak. It's about 10 steps and breathe. <laughs> yeah, yeah. yeah. 10,000 feet. Like you got to watch, too. Forest too. Oh, yeah. You'll, you'll be pretty close to San Gabriel River there. In, it's in Pomona. Pomona, yeah. Um, that's in the Inland Empire. Um, I used to live not too far from there, February 24th through the 25th. It's yep. in Tucson, Arizona, February 17th and 18th. 
Mike yeah. Pung told me there's one in Quartzite on the 9th and 10th and 11th. Um, well... See on the page. I'm looking at a schedule right now. Yeah, I have it in the... Uh, Was it a project. GPAA gold show or a different gold show? No, it's a GPA. Oh, maybe it is a different one. I don't know, but I know Mike's Mike's going out to Tucson and he's going to Quartzite. Well, it's probably it's from one of the other clubs. Uh, yeah. Because right here, so I'm looking at it right now on GPA's site. Tucson, Arizona, 17th and 18th. Pomona, California, 24th and 25th. Ridgefield, Washington, which is just north of Vancouver, March 24th and 25th. Las Wages, Nevada, April 21st and 22nd. Boise, Idaho, May 5th and 6th. And so that's what they have posted at this time. So. Yeah, so maybe it's a different show. Well, yeah, like, you know, right right around the same time, they have their show up by Vancouver, just up the road a little, in, uh, by Olympia in Thurston County. There's, or actually it's at, at the State Fairgrounds in Puyallup, the Bedrock Prospectors are having a show, and then the Washington State Mining Association, Prospecting and Mining association as a show up in everett so you, you have to understand that area is a lot different than like here in ohio indiana and stuff instead of one show a year that we have to drive hours to they'll have several shows yeah so you could have like valley prospectors or something having a show also Mike Pung be the man to know because he's on the circuit, but he yeah. just said shows he didn't tell you who was throwing it, huh? No, he just told me if I wanted to show up, it was because uh, I wanted to go to the Tucson one, but I didn't want to stay and I didn't want to drive all the way to Tucson. So he said there was one the 9th and 10th and 11th in Quartzite and then the one in California. So I was planning on maybe trying to go to the one in Quartzite. I don't know. It all depends. I gotta, like I said, I gotta sit there and look at a map tonight and well, rearrange you, what I can do. If you go to through Wickenburg uh, and have time, check out the Vulture Gold Mine. It's a pretty cool spot to check out. Uh, that was recommended by Gary from Gold Digger Gary Prospecting Adventures. Yep. Yeah, I've seen videos on that actually. It's pretty cool. I would have liked to go to Jerome too. I should have. I should have stopped in Jerome instead of coming here. Really. I, now I'm kind of kicking myself in the butt for driving by it, but it is, it what, is, it is. what it is. <laughs> it is what it is. It's just what I'm seeing, looking around. I mean, it's just you know. I mean, it's, it's awesome looking stuff. You look at the road cuts. When I was coming through the hills, man, if there wasn't 18 wheels about to run me down, I would have stopped because you could see the contact zones coming down through it when they cut the highway out. And then yeah. I thought, where do they put all that material? Because they took out like 40 feet by 300 feet tall, and they blasted it out. You know what I mean? There's, I don't know. I don't know where they put that stuff, but I'd like to know. Cause good stuff to go through. Because it was right on the uh, sandstone to the, uh, I don't know what it is, I think it's a shale. But you could see it, and it was like black and red, and then the tan and the sandstone. Right. It's nice. It's beautiful looking stuff. <laughs> there, you'll see a lot of that. A lot of cool stuff yet to see, and plenty exploring for you, Adam. I know you're going to love it. Uh, yeah, I mean, I'm glad I'm here, for sure. I just wish I felt a little bit better. And you'll get acclimated to it, and you'll find something that will help with your allergies. 
Oops, I'm going right now. I couldn't sit there anymore. I gotta try to find a CVS or something. <laughs> I feel it. I'm gonna start sneezing in a minute. I can feel it. All right. Well, we'll we'll cut this short for you, and um, I guess we'll have you on when you want to be on, and you could give us a report or call in and jump in on a Tuesday show and give us a report how you're doing or whatnot. Yeah, what I'll do is I, I'm going to know tonight what I'm going to do, where I'm going to go, what I'm going to do. I'm going to figure that out within the next half hour, and then I'm going to either stay or I'm going to go. So I'll tell you that, and then I want to do it when I'm out somewhere. I would rather, like, because if you called me and I had service somewhere. Yeah, like would, we were talking about doing uh, you outside. Yeah, I thought it was going to work down at Lynx Creek, and as soon as I got down the hill, it was like, boom, it shut right up. <laughs> And I was so close, like if I stood up at the top of the hill, but I would have been like 500 feet away from the river, so. Uh, but I do have some gold and stuff too now, so I mean, I would like to show that on. So, if I do what I'm thinking, I don't know if I would be on tomorrow afternoon, or maybe the following day. Oh, well, we tend to have to play a career during our work week, uh, but, you know, if you want to call in Tuesday and give us a report or have me call you in for a little bit just for a quick report Tuesday. Yeah, Tuesday is better for me anyway. So. And we, we could do that while we have on Tuesday at our, normally, our normal show. We have Wayne Nugget Brain, Brain Peterson, the president of uh, Western Watts, W W A T S. I forget. So, what, what time it would it be for me? Because it goes on at 8 30 there, right? Eight. Um, eight. So, where you're at now is two hours. If you're in Cali, once you cross the Colorado, um, it's three. It's three. So. Yeah. Well, that'll depend. I don't. I don't think I'll be in California by Tuesday. Um, I don't think that's going to happen. It's too far. Uh, I need to take a couple of days anyway. But I want to get somewhere where I can enjoy a couple of days. Yeah, well, there. Taz says. David says. Take care, Adam. Enjoy the moment. My friend. Thank you for uh, that. I Nancy, watched your video this morning, David. That was awesome. Down in the description, Nancy, is a link to Adam's channel. Please head over there, subscribe. If you're not yet a subscriber of mine, please subscribe. <laughs> yep. Uh, I definitely need some more subscribers. You could always use more. Wow, that would have been interesting. David did a trek through the Himalayas. A guy I went to school with rode a mountain bike through the Himalayas. Yeah. But this is about you. So take care, Dave. Uh, Adam. We'll talk to you Tuesday or something. Can you see those mountains off there? I don't know if you can see it or not. The mountains off in the yeah. distance. Those are the ones that I crossed over. I don't know which ones they are, but I think it was the Cochino, Cochino National Forest. I don't know. They're really cool, though. Oh, yeah. Beautiful state you're in now. Well, once you get past Oklahoma and the Texas Panhandle, it starts getting really pretty going through northern New Mexico and northern Arizona. And you'll, you'll have a Regardless, you're going to see some amazing shiznit. Yeah. Oh, my gosh. I need to see a CBS or a Walgreens. <laughs> well, oh we'll let you get to driving so you're not distracted. We don't want you to get a ticket for distracted driving. Yeah, I know. I'm That'd not sure nice. how the laws are about that in AZ. But thanks for coming on. Thanks for the update, our friend. And we'll talk to you soon.
and be safe out there. All right, thanks. Be safe thanks for your travels, man. Thanks for coming on and talking and caring about what I'm doing. I'm trying to do. Oh, definitely. I'm trying to do. I'm not saying try anymore. It's a day so I'm gonna what I'm going to do. There you go. <laughs> there you go. And put, um, without actions, thought is dead. So think yep. it, do it. If you don't know about Gold Prospectors Space and Prospectors Radio, head over there tonight at 7.30 Eastern Time for their Sunday show. It's always a good time. If you're, if you're participating in the giveaway for the multi sleuths or the multi pan, whatever that doggone thing is by dog, they're doing the drawing tonight. Uh, but, buddy, be safe, stay below the radar, and we'll talk to you soon, and may you always have a flash in your pan. Dan always going to do what Jesse does. <laughs> and you know what Ed says. That's okay. right. Maybe one day, too, we'll see you on the river. Good night, everybody. Be safe, Adam. Yeah. Yes, definitely. Be safe, bro. Thank you. I'll see you. Later, man. Later, bro. I'll have some more gold Tuesday. Excellent.